you're sick of this as well, but you know I'm going to ask about it. Anything at all on, on your future? Have you had any kind of talk at, at all with the, with the management? No, nothing yet. Um, I will be. I will be speaking to them, but there's nothing to uh, nothing to relay at the moment. Um, you know, it's it, it's a club that, that I hold dear. Uh, yeah, everybody knows that. It's a club that's been part of my life. Um, there has to be discussions. Um, I said last week, and it wasn't just... Um, it wasn't just in the emotion of a of a poor performance, but I said that there needs to be an overhaul. There needs to be a there needs to be a change in mentality. There needs to be a plan of of going forward, and I want to know what the plan is. I want to know where we are going to go, um, and if the plan is favourable, then I would like to be a part of it as well. Um, but. We need to have those discussions, and I'm quite sure they will happen very soon. It resonated with the fans that Paul we let we put it on the website. We let them have a, have a read of what you said, and they're all really interested. Is it a case of, I mean, this might be a poorly worded question, but is it a, a list of demands? Is it a gun to the head for the board or anything like that, or is no. is it more broad than that? No, no, there's no, um, there's certainly no gun to a head, um, and there's no list of demands. It's more, you know that. The club are where they are. We haven't got millions of pounds washing around in bank accounts. Um, we're we're not, you know, that we we're, we're not like Premier League clubs are. I totally get that. So, I, I'm realistic. I need to know, and it's and it's not even a case. At no point has any discussion gone on about what salary or anything like that. It's not even a case of that. Um, it's a case of where where does the 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 club see itself being? Where do where do we want to get to? Um, are we prepared to go through a bit of pain to get ourselves there, um, and not not just um, not just have an emotional reaction on the back of two or three bad results? It's got to be a steady plan of how we're going to turn it round. And I'm never one of these people to say, "Oh, I've got a five-year plan, so give me a five-year contract," because it doesn't work that way. But I want to see that there is a genuine plan in place and a genuine idea of where we're going to go. Everybody knows there's been talk of change of ownership. There's talk of, of outstanding loans. I get all of that, but I don't know where it's at, and, I, and I've chose not to. So there needs to be the discussion. There needs to be seeing how we're going to make it better. I'm in a football club that's got no recruitment process. Um, that's got to be put in place. There's all sorts of things. Now, if there's no money for that, then that's going to be really difficult to take the club forward. So there's all these things that we need to look at and we need to talk about. And I'm quite sure we're all sensible people. There's, there's, there's enough football experience and enough common sense amongst us all to be able to come up with a solution. So let's see what comes and, and let's hope it's the right solution. Maths telling us or not that we're safe or not come Monday. You must want this resolved. You must want... for your, even thinking ahead to, to you planning for next season mm. if you're going to be here you must be want to be doing it and getting on with it yeah well well I made a decision a couple of weeks ago that I would put um, a skeleton plan of pre-season together anyway because I just felt that if it's not me it would be really unfair on somebody else stepping in and I've done nothing to do sort of semi-preparation for pre-season so our courtesy of the club I, I did that I've started to do that anyway Um but yes, because I, I, it does need to be resolved. It need, there needs to be discussions and to decide. Um, I'm not saying that it will be decided overnight because there's a lot of things to discuss. But there's a hell of a lot needs to happen here. There's a hell of a lot of players out of contract. There's staff members out of contract. Um, there's a recruitment that needs to take place. And, and listen, we're not the only club that will be in that position because I, I already know of a couple of clubs who... I've got 10 and 12 players being released. You know, I've spoken to somebody today who's got nine of their starting 11 are out of contract in the summer. Um, and we're in a very similar position. If, I, if, if I've if i you know, been told the right information, we've got a good number of our starters who are out of contract. That needs to be resolved. Now, we, we, we're in a position where we need to get through to the end of the season. And I've told the players that I, I very much doubt that they'll be told yes or no until after the Bradford game and um, that's that's all I know about it and I've said that's normal in League 2 football and probably even in League 1 football as well that's normal practice I even heard last summer of Premier League players not being told and just being sent a letter in June clubs have the right to do it so you just have to get on with it as much as it's an unsettling situation 
we all have to get on with it. We all have to know what we're doing um, and we will all find out at the right time. Totally agree with what you said about the five-year plan. I see where you're coming from there. But let's say you are here, middle of July. We're going to be asking the same question as everybody else. Are we going for promotion? I take it with where we are now, you're thinking it's more of a let's be patient, more of a considered approach, or will your answer be let's go for a promotion? Well, we'll start the season um, wanting to win as many games as we possibly could. But everybody has to understand that there's the likelihood is there's going to be a change around of personnel this summer um, and I don't know how many I don't even know how many is out of contract or so I don't know how many will be retained how many will be released which in turn means how many are going to come in I don't know the answer to that I don't know anything about the budgets so what what level of finances you we work to at this football club any longer um, so there's going to be a challenge and I don't think it's going to be I don't think it's going to be a one transfer window challenge. I think it's going to take a few transfer windows. Um, and again, I'll go back to it. I'm not saying that the club have to stick with me for three or four transfer windows. What I'm saying is it's going to take a few transfer windows to, to transform this group um, into a group that can compete at the top end of the table. Because the truth is, after uh, 30, well, we've played 36 games, um, no, for, no, closer, closer to 40 games after, after this amount of games the league table doesn't tell a lie the league table tells you where you are it's as simple as that after two or three games if you're top you can say well they don't deserve to be top or if you're bottom maybe it's a little bit unlucky after this many games this is a reflection of where this group of players is whether that's offensive to people I don't really care but that is the truth of it the league table doesn't tell lies and, and at the end of the season after 46 it will definitely give us a reflection of where we are and uh, we've got to make sure that we're not getting to a point where we're in April and we're still concerned about relegation. We have to make sure that this football club is competing at the right end of the table with supporters begging to come through the turnstiles um, which they haven't done all season. Um, and that's our responsibility to put a group of players together with a group of staff that encourages their supporters to come through the turnstiles. I'm sorry I badgered about this. My last question is the most obvious and it's the most horrible. Do you want the job, Paul? Um, I want the job if things are right, yes. Um, but I'll go back to it. It has to be right. And, and, I'm, and, and I'm, not, I'm not using it as a bargaining tool. I, I'm in a position where it has to be right for me. It's as simple as that. And if it is right, then brilliant. Let's all crack on together. If it's not then hopefully I'll have done the job that I was brought in to do for 15 games. And, you know, if, if it is that I do walk away, they haven't lied to me and I haven't lied to them. I agreed to do 15 games um, and that's what I'm sticking by. I hope that um, come the end of the 15th game, we are still in a position where we can take the club forward. But I want to be part of a club that is progressive and is a... I want it to be a challenge. I'm not saying I want a nice, easy job. I want a challenge, and that's why I left the FA, because I wanted a challenge of first-team football. Um, but it's got to be a challenge that everybody understands where we are and where we want to get to. Really appreciate the way you've dealt with that. Thanks, Paul.